Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my awful eyebrows. I feel like every single time I try to do my eyebrows on camera, uh, they don't ever turn out the way I want them to turn out. When I'm not filming, my eyebrows turn out great. When I'm filming, it looks like I let Bella do my eyebrows. But anyway, so I'm doing this get ready with me because I want to showcase this really beautiful wavy bob wig that I'm going to put on, but that's later on in the video. But now I'm just trying to get my life together. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to be using very bright color today. I was inspired by Instagram and I read somewhere that if you want your colors to really pop, you need a white base. So that's where I had messed up. So I went ahead and I used this white base and it was not working right. And I kept trying to blend it into my skin. <laughs> it was awful. And yo, I don't even know what's going on with these palettes that have been released, but I really wanted brightness and bright yellow pigmented color. And it, this, I wasn't getting the, the bright yellow that I wanted. So I just kept slathering it on. I figured if I put more product on my skin and I just layered it and then eventually some of the color would show through. So eventually I went ahead and I started in on this really, really nice deep orangey color and I patted it in and I was really expecting that white base to make it pop, but it didn't pop as much as I wanted to. I mean, it's bright, it's bright in person. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe the white balance on my camera is jacked up. But honey, I packed about 25 layers of this orange color on until I was satisfied. And then I went in with this color from a, a ColourPop palette. I think I'll list it down below. <laughs> it didn't even work out, girl. So I had a little anxiety attack when I tried to put my wing liner because then I started messing up. And it's like my line got thicker and thicker and more dramatic because i was trying to make it even and <laughs> inside i am crying because i'm like if i have to take this whole eye off lord i'm gonna be very upset but it worked out and uh so then the anxiety comes from trying to make both of the sides match and then like one of my wings is always super long and super straight and it's something is wrong <laughs> So, okay, so I wanted to get fancy. So I used my Dura Liner and my Trophy Wife Highlight from Fenty Beauty. And I was going to put a nice little gold line on top of the wing liner without making it cricket and without messing up. Shout out. Shout out to everybody on Instagram that does flawless, innovative eye looks and makes it look so easy because this mess wasn't easy and it was very cricket. Um, but I persevered and I said I was not gonna give up I'm going to keep trying and I did and I said ooh, I need some more sparkles so I put sparkles under my eye and then I found this eyeliner brush and I was like oh this is what I was supposed to be using in the first place so I used that and it was still cricket I have like three mirrors in front of me and they were all saying no girl so I'm putting on my mascara and then my uh, Ace, Ace, is it Acidora? I think it's Acidora Lashes. And these are the 3D Mink um, number 18. And they are so soft and I love them so much. And I just had to cut them down so they fit my eye shape. But I really love this style of lashes. I love all the lashes that I have from them so far. So now I am moving on to foundation, which is the most hassle free portion of this whole makeup tutorial, because all you do is put on your foundation and then you just smears it all on your face. And I love this. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I've been using this one exclusively for the past couple of weeks because I love full coverage and it's perfect. So now I'm going in with a black radiance foundation stick and I'm using that as my contour. And it's very nice for contouring if you don't get heavy handed and then you have to sit there and buff out the contour for a minute and a half because you put too much on your face like me. But if you want to carve out some cheekbones, that's the way to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my trophy wife as my highlight and I'm putting that on the cheekbone portion of my face.
and then you know you just I just kind of went overboard because it was so luxurious oh my gosh now I am putting on some blusher and I'm actually using the same color as on um, my eyes and I'm adding more sparkles cameo hey AJ Now I'm using a little brown lip liner from NYX. Then I'm gonna use this Fenty Matchstick and Redick on my cheeks and my lips for a little extra color. So now let's get into this wig. This is a short bob. It's wavy, it's Brazilian hair. And when I first put it on, I think maybe I had put it on a little cricket or something was going on. The edging or the hairline on this wig was gorgeous. It was pre-plucked. It was beautiful. I didn't have to do anything to it. Except when I put it on, I noticed that one side was a little bit longer than I would like in a bob. So I went ahead and I hacked off and I really did hack off like three inches off one side. But it worked out because once I curled it, it looked perfect. So now I am going to go ahead and secure down this wig with a little bit of God the Big Ultra Glue. And I'm drying the glue. I didn't put too much on this time. So uh, after I am okay with how the wig is secured, I go ahead and put on my do-rag and then I let time do its thingy thing. And then I come back and the hair is secured on my head and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some curls and style it out and you guys are gonna see what my final results are oh yeah I was gonna use this um this curling iron but I wanted up uh, wand curling my hair but anyway that's it guys thanks so much for watching all the information about what's on my face and this wig is gonna be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to y'all later peace I mean, bye.